Hey everyone, this is Ash Shukla and welcome to Team Single. My friends, today I'm going to talk to you about how do you obtain 60 to 100 customer points fast. I mean fast. So, you know, many times people you know, who come into ACN business and they want to succeed and they want to succeed big. The, uh, the, one of the biggest things you have to understand about ACN business and how it works is you have to obtain 60 to 100 customer points. 60 customer points so you can earn 10% you know, residual income on your, you know, on your current level on, 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 from the production that you have done. But you also want to obtain 60 customer points so you can get paid through all seven first seven levels of your uh, you know hierarchy or your team that you are building. So that's why it's important to get 60 customer points. But what's also more important is that you must understand the power of 100 customer points. See, company says you have to get X, but I believe that you have to get X plus Y. And the Y factor is 100 because winners, remember you are part of a team Singham and team Singham stands for, you know, Singham, the word itself is, is the lion, the king of the jungle. So the question is, are you part of, a, are you truly a king of the jungle? I know you are. That is why you are part of this team. And in this team, 100 is a must. See, what, by obtaining 100 points, what, what happens is, first of all, you know, because you're part of a team singum, I say you get to roar, right? Now, how do you roar? How do you claim your territory? Well, you claim your territory by, you know, uh, by re getting recognized on the stage, by getting recognized at your weekly meetings, by getting recognized at the national conference, you know, that, uh, that next national conference, you get to walk the stage and meet the founders of the company. You know, you get to, uh, you know, uh, by obtaining 100 customer points, you also, you know, get to have a nice residual check. See, based on your billing volume, right? Sometimes you can get 100 customer points and let's say your average billing volume is $500. I mean, that's a pretty decent billing volume for 100 customer points. You know, you can be making really good amount of money you know, doing this. Even if, uh, let's say it's $50, right? That's still $5,000 per month in billing volume. That's extra $500 a month in residual cash flow. Think about that, right? Now, there are no guarantees because it is business and you don't know what the billing is gonna be, but I'm just giving you as an example for, uh, for your understanding why 100 customer points. I personally have 150 customer points and now I'm shooting for more. So, you know, the, the question now becomes as to how do you get, you know, many people ask me, how did you get so many customer points, Ash? Well, so I have a simple theory and, and here's how I work in, in, the, in my financial business, you know, so I, I just thought that I carried this over into this business. So I'll just show you how this goes, okay? It's very, very simple. I call it, you know, sell them in bunches like banana. You know, that's what Tom Hopkins, when I learned it back in the day, called it. And I'm going to call it the same thing. Sell them in bunches like banana. Here's what happens. You talk to a prospect. You're talking to them about one of their bills. You know, so if you talk to them about one bill, you know, one bill gives you like two or three points. Now, it's a hit or miss strategy. But if you use this strategy I'm about to teach you right now, you are going to get 20 and 30 customer points at a time. All you need is five to 10 customers, meaning you know, a good solid customers, and you will have your 100 points. I mean, I'm talking five to 10 families or five to 10 businesses, you get them and you are done with your 100 customer points. That's how simple this is. So here's how it goes. You're talking to a, you know, a, 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 a prospect, and when you're talking to them, one of the things you wanna emphasize is that, hey, you know, I can, if I can help you, you know, meet or beat, um, you know your services okay and if I can uh, if you can contribute to feeding hungry children would you be interested in, in doing so, doing that and if they say yes to that you say fantastic well listen all I need to do is gather up you know your your bills now what you do is that there's two ways or three ways actually you can do this one you can do it by survey the survey is, this is an online survey. You can, you can have this survey, it's in, the back, it's in your back office. And as a, for your convenience, I'll put it underneath this video. 
one for business and one for consumer. Now on this survey, what is basically asked you for the telephone, uh, so if they have a home phone or something like that, that, the information about that, wireless services, information about that, internet, you know, what kind of internet they have, home security system, energy services, and television services. You can also ask them for their alarm services, and you can also ask them for their merchant services if, if they are a business. So if they are a business, the only extra box is the merchant services. The, everything else is going to be their telephone, wireless, internet, you know, meaning their cell phones, their internet, their home security system, energy, and telephone, television, it's all going to be there, whether it's a business or for homes. And the other big, a big portion is the merchant services, which is part of businesses. So businesses have one extra component to add it to this. Now, when you get all the information from a customer, when you get all the information, whether you get it through a paper form or you can go to services for you. So for me, the site is ashshukla.servicesforyou.com. Now that particular services, that particular site is a survey site. This, people can fill out a, a residential survey or a business survey based on what they're trying to do. Now, once they fill that out, okay, uh, what do you, uh, so those are two ways you can gather information. The third way you can gather information is just simply go to this place and collect their bills. Now, I would recommend getting an email from them or, you know, or, or maybe uh, like a, get a scanned copy or something. That would be the easiest way to get the bills. So get all their bills at once. Then you make a spreadsheet and the spreadsheet will go, you know, something like this. It's very, very simple. You put the services on one side. So let's say energy, I mean, gas and electric, cell phone, home phone, um, uh, your, you know, uh, what do you call this? Uh, alarm system, your television, your, you know, home security system like that or something like, and merchant services, right? You make a categories like that. And then you say, current at the top on, on the on the second column here it says current you put current and then what, what they're paying right now for those services you make a column with that and then the second is new meaning what would it, what would it be like if they came over to us so you write that down on the second column now of course you sum them up both so you can show them clear differences now here's what happens when you show them this hey listen you know a, a xyz person you know, I, I just thank you so much for, for, you know, looking at this because I'm going to show you a clear cut comparison and how much you can save. This is also a fantastic recruiting tool because if you're talking to them properly, so let's say that on an average, yeah, I talk to a lot of businesses. So let's say you talk to a business owner and then uh, for, let's say it's a liquor store. That, that's why I talk to a lot. So a liquor store owner and their average bill is $25,000 annually. You know, that's what they're paying. Now, if you're taking them from 25,000 a year in expenses, and if you're taking them to 18,000 or 15,000 or even 20,000 in expenses, meaning you're bringing them down, their expenses are going down about $5,000 a year. I mean, the question now becomes is very simply, Mr. Business Owner, if I can take you from 25,000 a year in expenses to $20,000 in expenses, and if I can help you feed hungry children, could I earn your business today? And that's all you have to do. Now, here's what happens. Now, of course, they're not going to, you know, you, you'll see that some services we can't really beat, right? So here's what ends up happening. You go with the easiest ones that are, uh, that are for you to do. So you start with the easiest one, like gas and electric, easy. You know, um, your, let's say, internet services, easy. You, you know, or your, let's say, security system, easy. Your, your, um, your um, what do you call this thing? Um, television services, easy. But it just be, basically these are phone calls that you are making, right? So doing those things is very very easy. Cell phones, I will leave it for last on purpose. Now here's the other other big thing. So when you do this, right? When you are, let's say that they end up out of the five or six services that we offer, you know, from that they end up getting let's say three, or instead of just getting one. See, before you were going just for gas and electric. Now you're getting not just gas and electric, but you're also getting their uh, television, then you're getting their alarm system, you possibly even get the merchant services right then and there because merchant service is just a form that you feel like they agree to it, you just fill out a form and you're done. I mean, 
you send it to, uh, to uh, our uh, designated person or anybody in, in, in Anomia services and they will take care of it for you, right? So it's easy. So you get the easy things done. Now all of a sudden you are racking up 15, 20, 30 points right off the bat because it's, it's, uh, you know, it's just the way it's going to be. And that's how you get lots of customer points. And that's how you build a solid residual cash flow. Now, remember, if you're looking to build a solid business in ACN, you know, it's very simple. You got to get 100 customer points. I cannot emphasize that point enough. If you get 100 customer points and you get four people to get 100 customer points, now all of a sudden you got yourself 500 customer points. You get maybe another 25 customer points each and you're a team coordinator. Easy. Right, you want to become an RVP? Just duplicate that process. It's not that difficult. You are just making it uh, making it more complicated. One hundred customer. Just remember, team Singham. We shoot for one hundred customer points. There is no such thing as sixty customer points. There is no such thing as ten customer points. It is only one hundred or more. One hundred or more. Because we are team Singham. We are best of the best. We are the king of the jungle. Welcome aboard. Namaste.